Hi folks, this is how to attach any hammocks, 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 bike trailer to uh, any bike that you might have, especially if you have disc brakes or a through axle disc brake bike, it causes a lot of problems. So this is everything you need to know about how to do it. The good thing about the hammocks bike trailer attachment system, which is this guy here, is that if you have through axles like I do, through axle disc brake bike of at least 12 millimeters in diameter, most, most uh, through axles are 12 millimeters, the good thing about this system is that the through axle will actually fit right through that hole there. Many bike trailers on the market don't let you fit through it. You just have to get an adapter for like burly trailers or tule trailers. But hammocks is great because they really just made a simple, easy attachable system that can attach to any bike trailer or bike that you might have. So I have got disc brakes. If you don't have disc brakes, if you have any regular uh, quick release bike, a regular bike it's gonna have no issues at all um, but I'm gonna show you because I have disc brakes and a lot of you guys do have disc brakes so this is a 12 millimeter through axle it fits right through there and then I'm just gonna attach it right onto there just like that uh, the other good thing about hammocks is that it has this flexible spring system so if the bike falls over or topples topples over for any reason you can lay it on the ground and the bike trailer itself is not going to be affected it's not going to budge or anything like that but your bike can actually fall on the ground and your bike trailer will be just fine this by the way is the outback which is a fantastic bike trailer i mean this thing is incredible uh, if you want a full review of this i'm going to put a link a video right in the description down below where you can check out a full review, a hands-on review of me going through this trailer and showing you what it's about. It is really, really awesome. But there are some things that you should know about it before you purchase it, so check out that video down below. All right, so now I'm gonna actually show you how it attaches before we do that. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate you giving a like, a thumbs up for the epic hammock attaching a bike trailer. It helps the video get shared around with people. But let me show you how this thing gets attached. So you've got the thing, you line up the holes and you take this security pin and you put it through there and you clip it and close it like that and you're in business. I should also mention that if you have a bike that has hooded dropouts, now hooded dropouts are common on my mountain bikes, etc. If you do, then there's a chance that it's not going to fit on your bike. So I'm going to put a very helpful, handy little guide down below that I made in the description that's going to basically show you what you need to do in the event that you do have dropouts and it doesn't fit and exactly which attachment little tiny little attachment that you need to get in order to do that so it's not expensive to do but check out that guide and you can check that out there okay thanks for watching take care